Hello tribe and a very very happy new moon to you. So today I am sharing with you an exercise, a new moon exercise. So the new moon came into fruition at 12, 12 a.m. this morning. Powerful double numbers. So it's a moon with some potency. And I wish to share with you the, um, the strength of working with the moon's cycles. So working with the moon cycles, we have new moon and we have all the other phases in between and then we have the, the full moon. But I'm going to keep it simple because otherwise it's going to get it too confusing. You're going to work with your new moon wishes and then you're going to work with the full moon later on down the line. But right now, let's start with phase one, new moon wishes. So I'm going to share a little story that really restored my faith in energy and manifestation. When five years ago I moved here, I opened up an aerial studio and I was new to, I was a new kid on the block, didn't know anybody here. And I was struggling with getting classes going, getting people in the classes. So I started to work with the new moon energies and I thought, right, okay, well, let's see if this works. So I did my list and I said, right, okay, what is it that I want to manifest? And I was like, right, I want my studio to become more popular. I want to get like-minded people that really love Ariel to get in contact with me. And ideally, I want to have more classes and I want to have them filled. So that's what I put on my list. And then what actually happened within about 10 days... The classes got really, really full. I mean, I'm one up teaching all these classes. They came really, really full. And then I found myself on the next new moon um, wishing for balance and can we just pull back a little bit because I might die if I teach another class. So be careful what you wish for because it might just come true. So there, there you can see, yeah, it worked. It worked. And then I had to, um, then I had to call in balance, you know, um, something I could cope with because it was all well and good pulling all this energy in, but I couldn't cope with it. So, um, yeah, I had to bring a little bit of balance to the to the situation, which is always required, right? So I am going to share with you today an exercise on how to start working with the new moon energies. So what we're going to do, first of all, you need a pen, okay? You need a journal as well, a journal, a nice, a nice book. You've got to, you've got to honor what it is that you write, especially when it comes to energetic stuff. You know, that's why people have diaries with beautiful hardback books and beautiful locks and, and decoration because it's your innermost thoughts and personal things. So you want to you want to honor it by putting it into a very special book um, because that that adds to the, the ritual of it, the ceremonial ritual of it. Like, for example, you're not going to turn up to church in yesterday's clothes, dinner down the front of your shirt, no, hair not brushed, stinking, haven't brushed your teeth barefoot are you because you know god ain't gonna dig that so you're gonna have to turn up and you're going to have to honor and respect the meeting of the higher power and dress for it you've got to dress for it so this is kind of where this comes from so so yeah make it special um be bothered you know what i mean be bothered have um discipline to honor and respect what it is that you're putting out there into the ethers um, because you're worth it because that's fundamentally what it's saying it's because you're worth it because if you don't you're kind of saying to yourself well you know what your wish list doesn't mean much at all and it's like yeah whatever if it's written on a crappy bit of paper I mean it's just not going to speak good things is it really so this is why we have a journal so get yourself a book which is which is special and you're going to write your wish list today. And your wish list, I, can, um, I can't express enough to keep it really specific. So with everything that we work with, with energy, with meditation, with ceremonies you go into, you work with an intention. So an intention might be that, um, you know, I want to, I want to live uh, an abundant, happy life. I want my business to run better, um, you know, and then, and then put that at the top of your page and then list all the things that you call in for that. So you want good staff. You'd love a good business premises. You'd like more clients. You'd like more awareness. You'd like a good marketing company and so on and so on. So there's your, there's your wish list. And then what will happen is each day or each couple of days you visit this list and you really you read down the list again and again and again and you embody it and you connect with it and what will happen is as the month goes on and the different moon cycles come in like the waning moon and the waxing moon all of these they they they, they bring different levels of cleaning it's all almost like they refine your list you'll find that one day you'll look at your list on your your new moon wishes and you'll go actually that's null and void now i don't think i want number three on the list because i'm kind of over it and then you'll scribble it off 
And then you'll look at like 0.5 and 6 and you'll go, God, they're really strong. Lots of things have happened this week that supports number 5 and 6. So that's that spirit telling you that, yep, you're on the right track with that. But trim your trees because if you don't need those dead branches, get rid of them, which is why some points on your list you'll find scribbling off throughout the month. So that's okay because remember you're manifesting. So you're adding to it and you're pulling out what isn't needed. It's a bit like gardening okay you're going to plant seeds you're going to pull out old trees whatever so it constantly evolves into something which is specific and beautiful and amazing so allow the movement of energies to come through your list throughout throughout the month um this is this is you co-creating this is you creating from you and working with spirit spirit and your guides are the ones that are saying nope that ain't gonna work for you you really want that in there anymore are you really that bothered and you kind of go nah because all it does is weigh down your your wish list it's a bit like a hot air balloon and you haven't cut off the sandbags you know what i mean so yeah so look at it like that so eventually You've meditated and you've connected, even have it propped up on your desk. You know, you might want to go as far as, as doing the dream boards and things like that or putting a picture on your phone. You know, anything that adds to the manifestation of this list. And then when you get to the full moon, that's when you actually release and let this go up into the ethers. So this whole four weeks is about creation, manifestation, refining it, getting it right, fine tuning, you know, getting it potent and mm, all ready to go, like the perfect cake mix. And then all of a sudden, when it comes to the full moon, full moon's about releasing and clearing, you clear all the crap off the top of it whew, that isn't needed, and then you release and let it go. And then that's when it comes into fruition. So it's quite a, a basic process, but man, it's potent. So I want you to just rewind and focus more on the, the, the new moon list, because when we get to full moon, we'll deal with that when that comes, and that will be on the 12-12. So there will be an energy forecast post on that, on the light Facebook page, but here we will do the full moon exercise for that. But for now, you are in manifestation mode. Today's full moon energies, uh, moon energies are more potent three days prior up to three days after so you can you can vibe with this and really really create in the next uh, next day or so and then revisit revisit and and just see what forms be before your eyes you'd be quite be quite surprised but you've got to turn up and you've got to work with your journal so without further ado i am going to love and leave you and you are going to go and get your journal and you're going to get things popping so Happy manifesting tribe and I will post again when it's full moon time. Peace.